Democrats whine too much, Chuck. <laughs> Just quit being a whiny party. You know, that Ted Cruz, Cruz guy seems like a real stiff. But at least he believes in the concept of shopping with money. It's not my fault that the party of FDR and JFK is turning into the party of LOL and WTF. <laughs> Members of Congress tweeting things like cancel rent, cancel mortgage, and no more policing or incarceration. Crazy, right? Bill Maher is 100% right. The Democratic Party is not the party of Kennedy, Roosevelt anymore. Now it's the party of free housing, big government, climate emergencies, and social spending projects that continue to increase the deficit as we speak. It's now over $30 trillion. Things have certainly changed since the 1990s. Remember? It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. So I don't want to ask. What made them do this? They must be taken off the street. The submission of the first balanced budget in 30 years, one that will truly strengthen our nation for the 21st century. This budget marks the end of an era, an end of decades of deficits that have shackled our economy. Democrats, I know you know that. Joining us now to discuss the change, Jim Justice, governor of West Virginia. In 2017, he switched parties from Democrat to Republican and recently won re-election as a GOP -er, and New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. He switched parties from Democrat to Republican in 2020 and won re-election in the blue state of New Jersey as a Republican. So, guys, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. You heard those clips earlier. Governor, did the party leave you or did you leave the party? No question in my book, Brian. The party left me. You know, I worked really, really hard on getting a budget passed. I went back and forth between the Democrats and Republicans over and over and over. I finally got it where it was really great for everybody, but especially great for the Democrats. And then they just dove in a ditch. I, I made the decision, decision really quickly, you know, really after seven months of this, there's no way in the world I'm going to sit down here just to play games. I wanted to get something done. And so really, I, you know, I went home, I talked to my wife, I said, I can't take this. I just cannot take this and everything. So the next person I saw, I went to the Oval Office and, and sat down with President Trump because we're great friends, friends of the family. I thought he did a fabulous job beyond belief. I look forward to him being back there and absolutely in every way. But I uh, sat there and I looked right at him and I said, Mr. President, I'm thinking about changing parties. Honest to goodness, it's true if I drop dead this very minute. He jumped across the table, stuck his hand out like that and said, do it, Jim, do it right now. <laughs> and, then he, and then he yelled, Mike, Mike, get in here. And then Mike Pence came in and then he said, uh, you know, Rince, come, come in here. And, and, and so all of a sudden he came in and, and lo and behold, you know, we were all sitting there and, and having a little, uh, little semi-celebration. Right. But, uh, but the long, long and short, short of it is... Uh, you know, uh, you know, that's the first person I told. I did that because of respect for him and all the great stuff that I knew that he was going to do. And lo and behold, it's right. the best decision I've ever made. And Congressman, uh, you had a similar story. I know a similar background. You changed at about the same time. But if your part, if the Democratic Party were looking to get the deficit to zero and crack down on crime, you might not have made that decision, right? Well, it wouldn't have been the Democratic Party that we have now. The party that you see now is the Democratic Socialist Party, the Democratic Marxist Party. Uh, this is not really what I think is a good American party. And yes, it was a similar story. I wouldn't vote for impeachment. I was the one Democrat that wouldn't vote for it. And under tremendous pressure, I had a lot of important people speak to me. And I remember the fatal words when they said to me, literally, you will obey. They said that to me. Well, they, they don't know folks from Jersey and they don't know me. So I didn't really know what I was going to do. I walked home that day after a lot of, you know, unhappy dialogue and discussions, uh, realizing, and I've realized right. for a while, this is not just happening today. This has been going on for a number of years. Uh, and, didn't, well, I got a call from the White House, the long and short of it. And again, it is similar. President Trump wanted to meet with me. We sat and talked, believe it or not, for about an hour and a half. And he right. turned to me gotcha. and he said, Congressman, you should be a Republican. And I turned to him and said, Mr. President, I am going to be a Republican. Same thing with jumping up. The only thing is I hadn't told anybody at home yet. <laughs> so because he wanted to do it right then, right, right. there.
do it in a couple of days. I have to go home, tell my wife, tell my kids, just, you know, gotcha. get everybody set. And they were all good. And it was an amazing election. time. And right. I won re-election. I'm proud I did it. Uh, we have to take this country back. This is more than just the names of political parties. Right. This is about the future of America. We are on the precipice. We are about to lose this great nation. We are the shining city right. on the hill. We are the greatest and nation we'll see, in the and world. We'll see how it goes. I want to get the governor that. in one last time. Governor, okay. um, if the president governed as a moderate, he would be much more formidable along with his party, some would say, in 2022 and 2024, much like a guy, a Senator Manchin from your state, a moderate Democrat. Do you think he will? Today, Brian, and you know this, and you're a great friend, and I can tell you with all, without any doubt, what's happening with the National Democratic Party is complete insanity. And we right. know it. I mean, for crying, it surely wasn't anything close to that bad in West Virginia, but what's going on now is an absolute circus. Well, uh, well, a fellow Democrat helped save the country, Senator Joe Manchin, I believe. Uh, thanks, uh, Governor, Congressman. Best of luck. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.